crazy oh, no. but got to be used to that now right <laughs> <laughs> well I'm glad you were able to make it on time please have a seat sure nice place you have here thank you mm -hmm. is your husband available oh yeah um, we both knew you were coming today okay. I'll get him in a minute okay sure do you want something to drink you know what will be great great Thank you so much. You're welcome. Much needed. Please excuse me while I go get Billy. And I'll be right back. Sure thing. Are you ready yet? Yeah, um, another minute or two. What's up? Miss Susan's here. Okay. Um, well, why don't you get started and I'll be down there shortly. No, we can't. She said both of us have to be present before she can open the files. Okay, well, let her know I'll be down in a minute. All right, but don't take too long. She doesn't have all day. I'll be right there. Thank you for waiting. No, oh, no, not Put a problem. Put it down. Sure. Excuse me. Just have a seat right here. Yes. <sighs> oh, it wasn't too long. Hello, Miss Susan. Billy. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, not a problem. How's your day so far? It's going well, thanks. Very good. As you both know, I am here to talk to you today about the instructions that both of your fathers left. Yeah, um, we know. Thank you for taking the time. Once again, no problem whatsoever. Should we move over to the table? I think it would be a lot easier to show you some of the documents. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Oh, well, thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> I see. This is so lovely. I wish I could do this at my home. Okay, so you both know why I'm here. I'm here to explain to you the instructions that both of your fathers left concerning the company and also concerning your future. And just so you know, those instructions were unanimous. Yeah, um, we know. It's, it's not like we could dispute it anyways. Um, they were very close. Are you going to be okay, Grace? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. <clears throat> Your fathers were best friends by far, and they did most everything together. According to what I'm reading, they started a company about 30 years ago together. And that company has been thriving ever since then. 
It's true. They did everything together. They were actually on their way to a business meeting together in the UK when the crash happened. I am deeply sorry. It's tragic. That's so okay. sorry about that. It's okay, thank you. Okay. Well, what I am going to read to you today are their instructions, and they're very explicit. Understood. Okay. Are you sure you're okay to go on? Yes, thank okay. you. You're welcome. The instructions read as follows. To Billy and Grace, since both of you have no interest in carrying on with the company, we have decided to sell the company off to the highest bidder. What? Why would they do that? Well, um, you did say that you had no interest in the company, that you wanted to do something different, and Grace's father said the same thing about Grace, that she didn't want to have anything to do with the company, so they sold it probably because they had no one to hand it over to. That makes sense. I've never really been one to want to run an office or anything close to that. I'm the same way. I suppose it was the best thing to do given the situation. Well, the further instructions are the company will be sold for a hundred million dollars and the funds will be deposited into a trust fund account. Wait, a trust fund account? Mm -hmm. For how long? Well, it says here that a hundred million dollars will be deposited into a trust fund account for 10 years. What? 10 years? But that's a long time to wait to get this money. Why would they do this to us? Well, their reason here states that um, they both thought that you're not matured enough to handle the huge amount of money. And they said that if they were to release the money to you right now, uh, due to your immaturity at this time, that you might misuse it or blow it on irrelevant things. What difference does it make whether we get the money now or later? Well, it says here if they release the money to you in 10 years, they believe that by that time you would have been through some life experiences and some life lessons and you would also be smarter and wiser. This doesn't even make sense. There are stipulations. What does that even mean? Stipulation is a clause, right? Yes. Yeah, so what's the clause? Well, it says here to get the money in 10 years, both of you have to stay married. It also says that in the case where one of you passes away, the surviving spouse should immediately have access to all the money and all the assets. Really? I don't, I don't understand. I will explain it to you. There's no need. Nothing's going to happen to us. Oh, no, well, nothing. Great. I have some documents for the both of you to sign. And when I get back to the office, I will make copies and then I will mail them to you. Okay? Okay. So, these are for you. Thank you very much. And these are for you. Thank you. And I do have pens. Here you are. Oh, thanks. And here you go. Thank you. And you can take your time to read over the details. Thank you very much. You are more than welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. All righty then. You guys have a wonderful day. And like I said before, your home is so lovely. Thank you. And I am so deeply sorry that this has happened. I appreciate that. I appreciate the condolences. All right. I'm going to be Susan out, okay? Sure. Thank you so much for stopping in today. You're welcome. You guys have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. Drive safely.
Is dinner almost ready yet? I am starving. Yep. Just have a seat. Excellent. I'm going to get us some water, okay? Okay, sounds great. I can eat anything right now. Well, actually, I'm getting uh, new water, but this I, looks have, great. I want some wine, so I will get that. Mm. Is it good? I needed this. <clears throat> Nice and warm. So, so what, are you, what are your thoughts on our dad's opinion of us? Well, I think they're right. I mean, we should have been more mature or pretend to be. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the way time flies, 10 years will be gone before we know it. That's true. But I'm not worried about that, though. If it comes, it comes. Yeah, you're right. I'm not worried about it either. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got any plans for today? I mean, there's a lot to think about. I you know? thought they would gone over. <clears throat> Are you okay? My stomach. What's wrong with your stomach? I don't know. Come on, let's get you to the couch. <coughs> I'm so sorry you have so much pain. Uh, Is there anything I can do for you? Can I get you anything? My phone. Grace, can... Grace, can call for help. Okay, okay. Get help. Sure. I'll do that right now. <sighs> Grace, what? Grace, Grace, get help. She. Grace. <laughs> Hey, how are you feeling? Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, thanks for the help last night. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. We're here for each other, right? I'm gonna go get you a cup of coffee. No. No. Um, I'm just going to take a break. <laughs> Why? No reason. Just... Taking a break from drinking and eating. Ha ha ha. You're funny. I'm gonna go get you a cup of coffee. What are you doing? Just trying to get this presentation finished and submit it in. Okay. 
Oh, I got you some lemonade. What time is it due by? It's due. <laughs> Very soon. Come on. Are you not going to drink your juice? Um, yeah. Yeah, I will. I, I just need to get this finished and submit it in by 7 o'clock. Just right around the corner. Well, you really shouldn't procrastinate. That's what happens. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just saying, just maybe for next time. You know, then you wouldn't have to be rushing. That's all. Oh. So, can I see what you're doing? Whoa. What's wrong, Grace? Mm. Mm. Billy. Yes? Billy, please help me. I'm What's wrong? I'm in pain. What's wrong? I don't know. Oh my God. Billy, please. Billy, please get me help, please. Okay. Let me get you help. Oh my God. Billy, Billy, please hurry. Please get me some help, Billy. Please don't leave me here. Billy! Oh, God. Where is he? How come you didn't even try to get help from me yesterday? But I did. I don't know why they didn't come. Bunch of bull. You know what? From now on, you do your own food and I'll do mine. <laughs> Forget that. From now on, I'm eating out. I even got myself a to-go for this evening. I will feed myself and I won't feed you. Fine. Fine. So is this how it's going to be from now on? Not trusting each other? May I ask how we even got to this point? I don't know. I just know that I don't want to live like this. If you don't want to live like this, we have to make each other a promise. Okay, what promise? That we're not going to hurt each other? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I promise never to hurt you. And I promise to never hurt you. See? Life isn't that bad. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm gonna go get oh. us some wine to celebrate, okay? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Hope you like it. Um, yeah, I mean, it smells great. I'm just, I just need a moment, you know, just to get my palate settled. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run upstairs to get my phone. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Stomach hurting again? I don't know. 
Oh, it's worse this time. Wait, but... But, but I... You switched my own? You fool. I poisoned both of them. I don't think you're getting out of this one. Ah, uh, Grace! <sighs> you know, you really went out of more food for yourself, didn't you? If you ask me, that's selfish. The selfishness is very wrong. Mm. That's good though. Stupid bastard. I knew I couldn't trust you. 